first time we're hosting a concert of this magnitude in 2021. I'm referring to the fact that we have at least four South African acts, uh, one West African act, as well as no less than six local acts. So it is quite unprecedented in trying times, but also it is something that I feel the Zambian public deserves, something that we feel all, all our partners feel the Zambian public deserves. It has been a rough year, uh, but entertainment continues to actually thrive, and uh, we find new superstars uh, creating the narrative as to how they carry the African music and the African vibe and the African story. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, we will have about a 20 to 25 minute Q&A session. We will open the floor to questions. Once again, we appreciate your being here. Kindly do amplify these, all right, throughout your various media platforms. Uh, we appreciate even uh, the pre-press conference uh, noise that has happened in the media. We really do appreciate that. So do keep up the energy. It's all in the build up to tomorrow. Uh, the other significant thing, um, and this you must know, is that uh, it does fall on the eve Zambia independence. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure by the end of the 48 hours, we'll probably have a Zambian name. <laughs> Fantastic. We'll let the public uh, decide on that one. But we do thank you. Uh, we invite you, as I've said, it's, it's a very special uh, weekend for us as citizens. Uh, we could think of no better fit to actually celebrate our 57 years of independence uh, as a nation. And of course, we do know that um, Gambia is really driven by its youth culture. Mm. And we had to go back to the drawing board and say, who do the youth culture appreciate at this point in time when it comes to the world of entertainment? And no one behold your name came up. So it is not by coincidence that you find yourself here at such a point in our history. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Uh, looking forward to this. Looking forward to the show with the sketches. Looking forward to, you know, um, everything that you perform. Music to you guys. That's what I'm here for, to be honest. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, we will uh, shoot off uh, with the questions. Um, thereafter, we'll be having a closed session of his, uh, uh, his uh, uh, rehearsal, right? So we'll be having a closed session of his rehearsal. Uh, feel free to write about it. Unfortunately, it is a closed session, all right? But that's uh, him and his team working his magic to make sure he performs on the big day. So I will shoot out uh, questions so that we get through the Q&A session uh, very quickly. And how do you find Zambian Jehovah, by the way? Uh, I've, not, I've, uh, I've not been able to speak to him yet. Not yet. Yeah, <laughs> but the first night was um, a bar. I see. Yeah, I was all being food ah. in Nigeria. I didn't even have that in my local. My in your boss, system. My, my sister was trying to get into that. So yeah, I'll, I'll definitely get into the local food. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, feel free to raise your hand and uh, please mention the media house you're representing and then also uh, deliver your question thereafter. So, uh, who will go first? Sure, sir. Hey, man. So, um, I'm Saidi, I'm from Soul TV, or Blogger, yeah, yeah. Uh, my question is Are you down to just say uh, what's up to the soul gang and show them your brand? I didn't get that. Are you down to say what's up to the soul gang to show them your brand? The soul gang. The yeah. soul gang. Oh, the okay. Soul. Yeah, sure, of course. All right. Um, so all you have to say is, hey, soul gang, what's up? Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 right, let's go. Yo, what's up, soul gang? What's popping? Hey. Right, we're in your city, in your country. What's up? What's popping? Hey, let's Keep go. Keep tomorrow. All right. Let's right. go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I will charge you to say that. <laughs> 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 All right, Mkumbu, thank you, please. Hi, my name is Mkumbu and I'm representing Spring TV. So my question to you is, what do you put down first, melody or melody? Ah, uh, thank you, Mkumbu. Uh, I think melody first, you know, that's what usually comes to my head first. That's mm -hmm. what, that's the first um, period that comes out when you're making music. Producers playing chords, or the guitar's playing, or it's playing beats. You know, it's melody first. You know, uh, most of the time, usually melody. And to be honest, in Afro beats, that's usually what's most important. Mm -hmm. So yeah, melodies come, and then you start to put the words together, string the words along, and then it all makes sense. Thank you. Last question, Summer or Winter? I'm African. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> All right, he, he represents Empire, and he'll tell us a bit more about what that does, uh, not just uh, for, of course, Fireboy and how they evolved here, but also we'd love to hear more about what he's doing for the community. And then we also have a representative from Amigos Events, uh, Zambia's very own events company that has put this together. So, Kay, please go ahead, and then we'll also open the floor to the rest of our table and come back to more questions for Fireboy. Kay. I did not anticipate the parts of that you know the story. Uh, it was a drunken night, a drunken about <laughs> night. I just landed from, yeah. Oh, uh, she's just waiting for you in the studio. A lot of people were waiting for you in the studio. This is the first time uh, in San Francisco, the headquarters of the Empire, to say hi to everybody and to go back to the front. Okay, sure. And then we got to the studio, met Shizzy, Hi, 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 let the air and out, everybody. Okay, play me some beats. And then he played the beat, I'm like, okay. I was already his eye on alcohol, so I just got to the studio. 20, 30 minutes done. A couple of days later, Vado called me and like, since you're not ready to drop any singles with fan, you might as well just leak it. And I was in the same recording, I was like, yeah, do whatever you want, it's fine. And I didn't take him serious. And then I woke up to the songs on YouTube. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> and a handle them. So we'll, we'll hear from the inspiration of not just the song, but possibly the handle. Please do go ahead. Um, sorry, so my name is Ezek. Um, I work for Empire. Um, Empire is a music company. Um, distribution label publishing. Most notably, um, we work with Fireboy. We want to do the LP partnership. Um, we don't sign our deals to work with them in partnership. So it's never a case of us saying you must do this, you must do that. It's a case that we have a conversation and we move forward. So I think Peru is probably the perfect example. Mm -hmm. We're being very honest. <laughs> we didn't want to do that session that day. <laughs> we wanted to just chill, relax, but the idea was just to be in a new place, meet new people, get a new vibe, and now we have a global hit. So um, yes, we're just here to help, to support, to build the industry, make sure artists like Fireboy specifically get a chance to see and meet all their fans across the world. And I mean, Peru has top charts in over 17 different countries right now and it's still growing, mm. you know, so it's something that for the next one year, Peru, everyone will be tired of Peru before. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just one of those magical moments happy. that I, I was just happy that I was opportunity to be in the studio when all these things happened because most times we're in separate places, but it was, yeah, it was quite magical that day. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'll allow two questions for Isaac uh, from you guys out there. Okay, it's just not a question, but welcome to Zambia. Has anybody gotten a chance to like teach you how to say hello or teach you mummy dance, perhaps? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. I have a lot to learn. <laughs> but Nobody? No, no. I'm glad to be your first. Um, we say Mudi Mwanji when you come to Zambia. It means, how are you? And in response, you say Mudi Bwino. Mm -hmm. Just say Bwino. 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 Just Bwino. Yeah. So it's just Mudi Bwanji and Bwino. Just practically, just to say. <laughs> uh, so my question is on the partnership thing you just mentioned. Uh, it struck me because something we're doing here in Zambia is also trying to do the collab culture between creators with different things. So we're doing that by hosting different collab things uh, within stories. So my question is uh, that partnership, like how 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 do you get someone like this to like Fireboy to partnership or something? What's the value in exchange? Because it's not like they're signing him, and there's obviously value he's getting from him, and uh, he's a lot of value uh, he's giving, right? So I just want to, uh, you don't have to tell me the details of one of the finances, but I just want to know how I can also implement that with different people uh, on this side here. So 
just to give full disclosure, so before um, I joined Empire, I was at a, a major label company, right? And I think the biggest gripe I had with those systems was the fact that they only listened to the artists, right? And just using myself as an example, it got to a point where I was spending so much time doing paperwork and being sitting in an office instead of being in the culture where I was before. So partnership like this is exactly what it is. It's two people coming together, two entities coming together and saying this is the goal that we're both trying to achieve. So if there's not a shared vision, it'll never work. Right? So a lot of times people may have one vision, someone else has a different vision. No one's willing to come and meet in the middle. And that's where ego gets involved. But for us it's look, it's not about just us. We're building an industry, right? Fireboy is opening the door for so many other people behind it when you see that they don't have to conform to the norms of the industry. They don't have to make a certain type of music. They don't have to dress a certain type of way. They can follow their own path. And in following their own path, they're creating a path for the people behind them. Right? There are many artists that kind of blaze the trail for him, but he's also now blazing his own trail as well. So it's kind of like having a highway that has off roads, off ramps. Right? Someone can build that main highway, but you need someone else to say, you know what? I don't want to keep going this path. I want to go this way, go that way. That's what Fireboy represents. So our partnership is just to make sure that he continues to do that, so that whatever he decides to do, if he wants to go into fashion, sports, film, if he wants to start his own label, whatever that looks like, he has the support to be able to do that, so that he can continue to focus on being a creative while everything else runs in the background. Make sure where you come in on yeah. the background. Yeah, mm -hmm. but even in that background, he's still involved. So it's not like we're going off and making decisions. There are times that we'll do something and we'll say, mm, I don't like that. Or there are times we'll do some things and we'll say, yes, okay, let's keep doing that. So that's where the partnership come, becomes um, more apparent because some artists don't want to be involved in that process. Some artists just want to create and that's it. So we really have to be a proper alignment of how we both have a collective vision and how we build that vision moving forward. Mm -hmm. That's right for it. <laughs> That's true. And uh, in terms of online presence, where can people follow the works of Empire as well? Um, at Empire. Fantastic. And everything's there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. So with that said, we are hosting our third big turnout in Zambia. The first, of course, was with Mr. Easy headlining. The second was with Burnham Boy headlining. And the third is with Fireboy headlining. Maybe the <laughs> <laughs> and here to represent uh, the brain child company that is behind the big turnout uh, is Abby, ladies and gentlemen. She's representing Amigos event. So a round of applause for her. Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. I hope you can hear me. It's been a, a hectic period for us, but um, I'm glad that I always have, that we have a strong team that supports, that we support each other she is always here to help us out um so before i actually continue i'd like to thank aqua savannah who um the official sponsors for this event they've actually they couldn't they've apologized they couldn't be here today so i'm just going to read out what they sent you so as headline partners we are proud to be associated with the big turner coca-cola creates those special occasions for friends to mingle and experience a sense of togetherness this in line with what Big Ten Up represents, and hence the partnership between the two brands, is to leverage and create those special moments. As people come together to celebrate Aqua Savannah Big Ten Up, headlined by Fireboy, we urge everyone to enjoy responsibly and safely by observing all COVID-19 protocols. We look forward to another great event and partnership now and beyond as we build on this asset that is said to become one of the biggest events um, in 2021, Aqua Savannah, drink, hydrate, and stay safe. So that's a message from our sponsor. <laughs> so for those of you who may have questions about tickets, we've been getting phone calls off the hook. Tickets are sold out. So people need to, <laughs> people need to come and purchase the tickets at the gate. Come and see them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No <laughs> yeah. How many people are you expecting? What's the number on there? Right now, uh, over 10,000. Yeah. We have hit the mark. And I think one important thing to also add uh, of the Amigo story is this is the first time uh, Amigos and his partners have actually had a brand sponsor 
Um, so I think it sends a very loud message to the pulpit. Um, I'm not going to make mention of it. <laughs> well, we only do talk to him in terms of numbers. And this is a purely Zambian effort with uh, people, friends, business partners who just come together um, for the past few years turnout. And just really want the Zambian public to have a good time. So this is the result of this work. It would be great if it's met with more and hard work. <laughs> Met, it's great if it's met with more corporate backing uh, because it shows what uh, the Zambian story is all about. It shows what the African story is all about and the consistency as well. You can imagine three years we planned this before we even knew Aqua Savannah was going to jump on board. So we really made sure that we were going to deliver the moment the window opened up uh, due to the pandemic. Um, so once again, I think it sends a very loud and clear message to sponsors. Um, to actually try and back a winning team once in a while. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so with that said, do we have any questions uh, for Abby? I'll open the floor to two questions once again. Sure. Uh, so, quick quiz. All the time, Nigerians divide you on the uh, different way. Always Nigerians. We always want to do something different. I'm sure you've seen the shows that have happened uh, from the time it opened up. Um, it's been so dark, mm. it's been our day. <laughs> so we always want to just step up and say we're doing something different. And people are always like, okay, we'll see how it's gonna go, but it's like, where are the tickets, where are the tickets? So we like yeah, to create yeah. the hype, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So yeah. we step away from what everyone's doing <laughs> and we like to stand out. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, I think I'll just back her up on that point, uh, from a partnership point of view. Yes. Um, we are very... Uh, unconventional. Un uh, unconventional, <laughs> but also very responsive. Mm. All right. Um, we, we, we do not like to force people to it. it. It's it's a genuine feel that we have for what people want. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a it's 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 a very genuine and authentic conversation that we have whenever we bring in artists. And lo and behold, um, the Four Season Empire Records from their observations can see where the wave is coming from for Afro pop. Okay. Um, but yes, we do have also our South African acts, uh, those of which are landing in uh, the next couple of minutes, actually. Uh, so I believe it's a continental celebration. I believe it's a, it's a celebration about the potential of Africa in the world of entertainment. And I just want to remind people in 2016, uh, and, and you'll back me up here, uh, as it, uh, Spotify's most downloaded hit featured an African artist. That was Wizkid and Drake. Mm -hmm. So that tells you the, the, the readiness to consume African continent, uh, the African content. Um, so it's, it's one of those things that we can see, not just a genuine conversation in Zambia, on the continent, but worldwide, yeah? So the relevance is there, it's absolutely there. Um, another question, please. I don't even know why you're scared, it's like it's a compliment. <laughs> I just wanted to point out that, you know, how you mentioned um, you started off with uh, Mr. Easy yes. and uh, Burner Boy. I don't know if you've actually noticed that they came to Zambia then they went to the world. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, I'm happy to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just thought I should put it out there. <laughs> so, they literally came to the and then they went to the world. So, yeah, um, I'm just thinking Empire might want to send more artists our way. This is the world job. <laughs> 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 you know, but, but to go to what you said, right, you, you, you have to realize that. We don't look at at Africa by country. Like it's really about what does the continent know. So the truth is that he wouldn't be here if he didn't have a song that the entire continent enjoys and fell in love with. So I think that 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 separation of country by country it doesn't it doesn't work anymore. Even genres are not cannot be separated the way they were before. You know, if you think about African music, it literally went from Africa to the world and has now come back. Mm -hmm. So when you think about the blending of all those sounds, it's not about what's happening in Nigeria and Ghana. The sound, the instrumentation comes from all parts of the continent. So in terms of headline or whatever it may be, it's always about what music do people want to come out and hear and listen to? Who do they want to see? So whether in Nigeria, or Ghana, or Tanzania, I mean, right now I'm a piano wave across mm -hmm. the continent. Yeah. You know, so everything, the sound is always changing and evolving. So we always, as us in this room, we always have to make sure we're moving as Africa, not just as 
Nigeria, Zambia, because until that unity happens, we really can't make the global impact that we're trying to achieve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll allow for three last questions um, as we move back to the fire for effects. Please, sir. Yeah. Um, my name is Bonani from Lady Team, and I actually have a comment for the entire panel. Um, as I think you're like the next, you're like the African Tour de Bronze. Um, <laughs> five years old, when your name was announced, people became like the Virgin Mary and just started getting pregnant. <laughs> 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 Have we fact checked this? So yeah, but um, pleasure to have you in the in the in the country. And then for uh, Amigos events, um, it's it's a beautiful thing to see what the event space has become uh, over the past uh, the past few years. My question is, are you going to branch into other parts of the country? I know Lusaka is the biggest market, but will you be doing? events of this magnitude in other parts of the country because then it's more than just um, the streets that are in Lusaka. Okay. If you followed us, we've at least managed to have shows at Mulumbushi. We had Joe Boy there. So we, yes, we are trying to set foot in other parts of the country as well. And for those who are not familiar, Mulumbushi is a university. Um, I know in the, in the U.S. market, you do have a lot of top-line artists that do college and university performances. So once again, it's a matter of appreciating the culture and trying to bring what works and what is relevant here. So that was the first time we brought an artist of global magnitude to actually an African university. Mm -hmm. um, so once again, it's in the effort of pioneering and, and spreading out. So you will see more uh, things happening across the country. Yeah. That's the university for us. Done. That's good. You read it first. We've got a we've got a population of eighty percent plus youth in Zambia. Yeah. That's yeah. more than Nigeria. Nigeria is seventy percent. We're looking at eighty percent. Yeah. Well worth having. Yeah. That's good. All right. Uh, second question, please. Announcement question. Um, hi, Samway. Hi. Okay, so um, I went to this uh, campaign for Team Girls to Stay True to Themselves called Skyline, and um, your song has been a number one for a long time. So, us guy girls, we'd really like a shout out. Please, <laughs> 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 in the world, sir. Of course. Okay, so here it goes. Shout out, Sky Girls. Shout out, Skyline. You know which camera? Like that camera. Sky Girls. Skyline. Skyline. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, how you doing? Fireboy Daniel, I can wish you guys a beautiful year ahead. Shout out to Skyline, I love you guys so much. I appreciate everything you're doing. Keep going. Yay. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, I'll allow two, two last questions. I'm sorry, I'll go back on my word. If, if you can fire them out really quickly, yeah. Okay. I'm also down the promo line. Certain things happen in the Saka and Zambia, and you see that on the corner. So, 
Uh, I'll run it to get access. We'll make a vote for you. And then <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have yeah, that we'll, administrative we'll, discussion. I show, but can. I'll already tell you something. Um, I, I think one way you can probably get assured is you change your website to lastminute.com. <laughs> 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 is just beginning but so is the work for five way and the team uh, I did mention the closed rehearsal session that they have to go to uh, so we do appreciate that uh, transportation we're good to go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. China yeah. okay so team before the works she shouts out shout out team she shouts out so uh, like where I think the only TV station in this thing is Space FM is like music 90%. So, like, shout out, right? So, the <laughs> station is Power TV, and our uh, lingo is called Muchi Munzi. Maybe you can read the English one. Muchi Munzi. Muchi Munzi. Yeah, so do whatever you say. Watch your power TV. Muchi Munzi Nizi. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, so power TV. Okay, we can go. So guys, five audio notes on to power TV. your interest and most importantly we do not take for granted your support proof of this will be in the pudding with a killer performance by Fireball <laughs> as, well as, as the rest of the squad what's more so we thank you so so much all right before, so before, go, before he, he actually closes we would like to thank the Hilton for hosting us first of all thank you very very much to the Hilton um, yes, I will do my job before we are all homeless. <laughs> I cannot accommodate the whole team on my couch. <laughs> so thank you very much to the Hilton Group once again, uh, showing appreciation for Zambian Entertainment, Zambian Media, and of course, uh, African Endeavors as well. So thank you so, so much. All right. Thanks, guys. Just want to say pictures will help us spread the yes, word faster. Pictures will. Oh, no. We have I'll snacks need, need outside for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. all right. We'll, yes, we'll, yes. We'll find out which one is the Can we just get I'm so sorry, it was fine. I thought I should give you the room to do it. Pretty much, I was really nice. Good thanks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're just doing two minutes for photo off screen so that we have to do the rest of the program. Yeah? Oh, okay. Awesome. Boss, you can't be asking for sure thing. Mine too. Sure thing. Sorry, Jesus. <laughs> okay. So just a minute. Just a minute. You already got my phone. Sorry. So we've got about a minute left for pictures, guys, and then we need to move on.
Oh, I got a young man. Oh, I got a young man. Oh, I got a
Jesus Christ. Oh, no, Okay. Thank you guys so much. Okay. No problem. No problem. I'll, I'll edit straight to, to there as well. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's go. Hello. <coughs> Sorry. That's a long way. <laughs> That's the wrong way. I'm not aware. 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 I